Yo, what's good? It's your boy Mixtape Moff, and today I'm going to hit y'all with a review of the new Evidence album entitled Unlearning Volume 1. Let's get to it. Alright, so Evidence is a veteran rapper and producer hailing from Venice Beach, California. He had spent the early part of his career as one third of Dilated Peoples. The group managed to see success in both the underground and mainstream circles. However, in 2007, Evidence would go on to reestablish himself as a solo artist releasing projects like The Weatherman, Cats and Dogs, and Whether or Not over the course of a decade. He also collaborated with The Alchemist for their Step Brothers project. But this new body of work, Unlearning Volume 1, is Evidence's fourth solo album and his first since 2018. Now, this project was released through the independent Rhyme Sayers label. It contains 14 tracks and lasts approximately 42 minutes. Evidence does not do all the beats by himself. This time around, he recruits the following Producers to share the load, The Alchemist, Knotts, Seb Bash, Animos, Mr. Green, V. Dawn, Derringer, Crisis, and Eardrum. Now, in terms of the features, he doesn't have a whole lot. It's mostly evidence rapping, but he does bring along the following guests. Boldy James, Conway, Fly Anakin, Navy Blue, and Marcus Dave. But with that being said, let me go ahead and jump right into a track by track breakdown. The opener, Better You, produced by Alchemist, has a pretty spacey and murky loop with off kilter drums. I really like the faint vocal sample. What does it all mean? There's a nocturnal and gritty element to the production, but Evidence's bars are Pretty motivational as this track deals with self-improvement. Track two, start the day off with a beat, has a rich and flavorful boom bap beat produced by Evidence. There's a playful crate digging quality to it. He also has a luxurious piano passage worked in. I'd say it's one of my favorite instrumentals on the project. Track three, Shark Smell Blood, has a lo-fi guitar backed groove produced by Seb Bash. It's pretty stripped back but still funky. Evidence appears hungry, but his delivery is still controlled and very much in step with his signature slow flow. Then the Animos produced Pardon Me finds evidence in more of a thoughtful and advice giving light. This is set to a mellow, melancholy loop with faint percussion. On the following verse, Evidence talks about getting ahead in life without selling out. He raps, I ain't good with 16, I need some more to spit beat, bleeding, I ain't over it, nothing corporate, and corporate, what I learned and pay the mortgages, never forfeiting or forbidding what the greatness of my aura is. Right after is All of That Said, featuring Boldy James. This has a very attractive sample that's a little hazy and slowed down. It sounds like it could have been produced by the Alchemist, but it's an evidence beat. Boldy James has a decent verse, despite sounding a bit drowsy, which isn't anything new. He raps, vision impaired from the shit that I gritted and bared, toting them infrared blicks with the kicks and the snares. The following, Won't Give Up the Danger, produced by Mr. Green, is even more psychedelic in sound. There is somewhat of an experimental feel to this. I do like the unique loop, but I wasn't huge into Merkich Dave's hook, to be honest. The subsequent track, Moving On Up, featuring Conway the Machine, has a colorful boom bap beat produced by Derringer. The obscure jazz sample here is very mid 90s sounding. We also get some scratching on the hook, courtesy of DJ Babu. It's probably my second favorite beat. This one finds evidence in Conway flexing with some boastful bars. Evidence states making shit that's notable, but not for notoriety. My hunger never left. My ribs are touching my chest. I'm at my best dictionary definition of fresh. Conway has a solid verse with decent wordplay and multisyllabic bars. Next is the short but effective talking to the audience. Crisis supplies the funky groove and evidence gives us one verse. He has a couple decent one-liners like, I'm like Banks spitting on some cake shit and Need a hook like, I ain't mad at you, I'll take it. On All Money, 1983, Evidence drops some gems about staying grounded and making wise business moves. The beat 
provided by Eardrum, has a haunting but captivating soul sample. I believe there's a Master P vocal excerpt on the hook as well. Here, evidence reminds us that all money isn't good money. A portion of his verse that stood out to me was, I looked up to them until we met. A lot of them cats are weirdos. I mean, they're rapping okay, but they're no superheroes. I never met Bob De Niro. Also never met federal bureaus. I was young. I met Al Pacino, 1983. He was slinging kilos. Track 10 is Pray With An A, produced by Eardrum again. It has an outstanding soul and blues sample. It's got a nice groove to it that really helps to offset the low energy verses from Evidence and Navy Blue. I think Navy Blue is a good lyricist, but man, does he have a sleepy flow. If it wasn't for this beat, I would have dozed off for sure. What comes after is Lost in Time Park Jams. The beat provided by Knotts is very chill, meditative, and hypnotic. I do like the faint vocal sample in the background that sounds like either footage of a battle rap or MCs talking. Perhaps it's from a movie. Either way, it's a cool feature. On this track, Evidence does some honest introspection and soul searching. It's definitely a good mellow vibe that you can zone out to. Things stay on the smooth tip with the Evidence produced Delay the Issue. We are getting a laid back beat with sparkling keys. It's very dreamy production. Evidence and his guest Fly Anakin talk about making the most out of their time as Evidence creatively states, Life is too short to blow the whistle, so you have two clever short dog references in one. The outro to this track is very trippy, and right before the next song contains the same sound effect that was used on Only Built for Cuban Links. I believe it was used right before Ice Water. It's only for a second, but if you're a big fan of Cuban Links, you will definitely catch it. The second to last track is Taylor Made Suit, produced by V Dawn. It has a moody and minimalist instrumental that makes Evidence's voice appear more cold blooding and calculating. I do like the sampling of Avon's voice from The Wire. I'm just a gangster, I suppose. The album comes to a close with Where Are We Going From Here? The beat provided by Seb Bass is a little psychedelic, a little off kilter. I like the MF Doom, put that in your pipe and smoke it sample, as well as Puffy's it's all fucked up now. Here, Evidence gives us three verses that are centered around the theme of perseverance. So there's a motivational quality going on. And I feel it's a strong way to close out the project. Overall, I give this album a rating of a strong three and a half mics, possibly a four. It's a bit low energy at times with Evidence's flow sounding even slower than on prior works, but it's a very sonically cohesive and consistent project. The production is a major strength. I feel Evidence and the various producers do a good job of blending the minimalist sound that is popular right now with traditional jazzy boom bap. Oh, and thankfully there's drums. Some other things that I could appreciate were the samples and the little DJ effects and nuances on the majority of track. Plus, Evidence's lyrical content was pretty consistent with his previous material. I did notice that his delivery was a little slower, but the bars were still honest, personal, mature, and clever at times. Ultimately, it's a dope project from the Venice Beach representative. My favorite tracks include Start the Day Off With A Beat, all of that said, moving on up, All Money 1983, Lost in Time, and Delay the Issue. Let me know what you thought about this project in the comment section below. It's your boy Mixtape Moff. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings, evidence, unlearning, volume one, one.